There is a lot more to the Australian Parliament than the debates and speeches that take place in the chambers. Members of Parliament work in a variety of ways to ensure they are making the best decisions for the country. With this video, your class can discover through role play how parliamentary committees gather information to help them make informed decisions. The Parliament makes detailed decisions on a wide variety of subjects. When members of Parliament feel they need more information about a subject, they can ask a committee to investigate it. Committees are usually made up of six to ten government and non-government members of Parliament. Committees may consist of senators or members of the House of Representatives, or may be joint committees, which include members of both Houses of Parliament. Using role play, your students will run their own committee in a simplified way. The role play captures the ideas and essence of the committee process. While we show secondary students running their own committee, the role play works just as effectively with upper primary students. All the scripts, resources and information that you'll need for the role play are on the PEO website. If you want to know more about parliamentary committees, watch the PEO's committees video. A parliamentary committee will investigate a matter that the parliament thinks is important. It can also examine proposed laws which the parliament may be considering. A committee advertises around Australia to let people know what it is investigating. It invites the community, experts and interest groups to write submissions to provide information or give their opinion. Committee members read these submissions and may invite these people to answer questions or give more information in person. So what are some of the issues in Australia that the Parliament might want to investigate further or might want to talk to people about? Voting. Voting. We could look into voting. Do a few preparation activities before you start. Have your students think about the range of decisions that Parliament has to make and what research they might need to do to ensure they make informed decisions. You will need to decide a topic to investigate. Once you decide on your topic, you should write some terms of reference, which explain what specific areas the committee will investigate. The PEO website has some suggestions for how you can decide on topics and terms of reference. It also has a script for an inquiry, which looks at lowering Australia's voting age to 16, which we will be using. The committee members, who would like to be on our committee? You will need to divide your class into groups. One group will be committee members, and the others will be witness groups, who provide information to the committee. Your committee members will need to get ready for the hearing. They should think carefully about the issue they are researching, then prepare questions to ask the witness groups. The committee needs to choose a committee chair to run the hearings, which are the meetings where the committee members question the witness groups. Your students in the witness groups will also need time to prepare. They should discuss the issue and then decide on their group's opinion. Later, they will want to persuade the committee to agree with their point of view. All the students in the witness group will have to be ready to answer questions on the issue, so they will need time to research. It helps to divide the research amongst the group so that each member has their own individual knowledge to share. The committee hearings work best when the witness groups have had plenty of time to prepare. Give them time to get creative with their research. The witness groups will also need to select a spokesperson. This student will make a short statement to the committee to introduce the group and give a brief summary of the group's opinion. When your students are prepared, you can begin the committee hearings. You will need to set up your room with two rows of desks facing each other. The committee members sit along one row ready to call the witness groups. The rest of the students wait until their witness group is called. 
The hearing begins when the chair of the committee starts the proceedings. I declare open this hearing on the committee into the voting age bill. I welcome all the invited representative groups. The term of reference are to determine the advantages and disadvantages of giving 16 and 17 year old Australians the right to vote in elections. What changes would be necessary to enable 16 and 17 year old Australians to vote in elections? The committee will now hear from several witness groups who have expressed interest in the inquiry. I welcome representatives from Voice for Youth. Please approach the table. Please state your name for the Hansard record. Elizabeth. Rosemary. Lucy. Jay. Do you wish to read a statement to the committee? Thank you, Madam Chairperson. We are the Voice for Youth and we believe that the voting age should be lowered to 16 years old and that the current voting system and age is unjust and setting double standards for Australian youth and society. 16-year-olds are treated like children yet expected to behave and think as adults in our society and the voting age must be changed to remove this injustice from the lives of young people and advance Australia as a whole. Committee members, do you have any questions for this witness group? Will lowering the voting age improve the lives of young Australians? Yes, it will, and this is because they will have more control over their lives. Uh, it is important for their school lives, as it will influence, influence the way their school and education is run, and it will also influence the privi privileges that they already have, such as driving or work or taxes. The election they vote in at 16 or 17 will be the election that elects a party for the parliament when they are kids, but it will also be the party that is in power when they are adults. So it will affect all the issues they will face as both um, adolescents and adults. The committee members take it in turns to ask questions, including spontaneous ones, to explore the issue further. If we lower the age on voting, does that mean that we would be able to lower the age on drinking and other things? I do not believe that we will need to lower the drinking age or the age of adulthood, as we already have people doing 16 year olds, doing adult responsibilities such as driving on a road with other people's lives in their hands when they are con not considered adults themselves. Do you believe that the average Australian teenager can comprehend how their vote would affect the nation? Yes, I think they do. I think the voting age should be lowered as young adults are comprehensive of the environment around them. Their social media, they know, learn a lot more. They learn 10 or 100 times more information than their parents did. And I think that's important as to why they should vote at a younger age. If they have that knowledge, why not put it to good use? The committee members continue to ask questions until they have heard as much as they need to or until they run out of time. I thank the representatives from Voice for You for coming today. The witness group leaves the table and the committee calls the next group. I welcome representatives from Elections Australia. Please approach the table. Please state your name for the Hansard record. Ted. Kaylee. Brooke. Charlotte. Do you wish to read a statement to the committee? Yes, thank you, Madam Chairperson. We are the spokespeople of Elections Australia. We believe that we will be facing many obstacles getting 16 and 17 years year olds to vote. These obstacles being cost, employment and education. Committee members, do you have any questions for the witness group? What extra cost would your group face if we lower the voting age? Yeah, you will lose money by sticking to the previous system, by paying more wages to more employees and more for ballot papers, but we can gain money by putting the system online. As well as lowering the cost, teenagers will be using a familiar system that's easy to access and easy to use. You can hear from all witness groups at one session, or you can spread the hearings across different days. Once all of the witness groups have spoken to the committee, the chairperson brings the hearing to a close. This committee inquiry is now adjourned. The committee will consider the evidence heard here today and will write its report. The report will be tabled in the Parliament.
The committee thinks about the evidence it has heard and prepares a report for the parliament. The report will summarise the evidence from the witness groups and will recommend what action, if any, the committee thinks the parliament should take. It may not be easy for a committee to come up with a report when the witness groups have contradictory points of view. The committee may need to compromise in order to come up with the most useful recommendations. Thanks everyone. So we know that the committee have been working on their report and they now have their recommendations to share. So come on, Jess, you can come and re share your recommendations with the class. The Senate Voting Age Committee has investigated the issue of lowering the voting age to 16 and makes the following recommendations. Lower voting age to 16, but for 16 and 17 year olds, it's voluntary. The system should be updated to an online one, but the original voting system should still be in place on a smaller scale. School education for voting starts at year 7, but goes into a full scale topic at year 8. For 16 and 17 year olds, they have to apply to vote at a post office and they require proof. If they don't give a notification beforehand that they don't vote, they will, they will be fined. Well, thank you for sharing what you Once a committee completes its report, it is tabled in Parliament. Um, thank you. This means that members of Parliament can use the information in the report to help them better understand the issue and decide what action, if any, they will take. The committee has recommended that the bill be passed by the Parliament and made 23 additional recommendations. Use the committee role play to learn how the Parliament researches issues in Australia. But don't stop there. Also use this process to explore any other curriculum areas your class may be studying. It won't be long before your class is running its own committees all by themselves.